Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How-To. My name is Viral. In this how-to, I'll discuss on how to create an interface through the Designer tab within ODI. Just a quick background on the ODI tool. It is a Java-based integration tool that supports multiple technology and provides standard support and drivers to connect to most tools. In order to launch the ODI tool, you'll need a client-based installation on your local computer or you could simply install it on the server. Once installed, you should launch the ODI tool in order to navigate to the Designer tab and start creating your interfaces within the folder menu. Let me walk you on how to create an interface. Once you launch the ODI tool, simply expand the projects, your folder, right click the interface. For the purpose of demo, I'll call it plan ODI3. Navigate to your mappings tab. Once you have your models created such as your flat files created within within the models menu and your dimensions pulled out from the planning application simply drag and drop the flat file in the source data store next you can simply drag and drop your dimension from the planning model to your target data store. It will prompt you for an automatic mapping for which you should click yes. It will match the columns between the source and the target and automatically map it. For any unmapped columns, simply drag from the source data store and drop it on the target column name. Going back to the overview tab, select staging area different from target. You could simply select planning or you could select the backend database. For the purpose of demo, I've selected the backend database depending on my installation type. I'll click on save. Once it has successfully been saved, you could simply execute your interface by right clicking the name, execute, select OK. Your session has started. Under the Operator tab, you will see that under today's date, that your session has started. It, it has listed a lot of steps. Click on Refresh. It has successfully been executed. In order to prove that my interface has successfully worked, I have a total of 220 members and under the Accounts dimension. If I collapse my accounts dimension, you'll see now a total of 222. What this means is I've added two more members through the interface using my accounts flat file. This is how you create and execute an interface in ODI. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects How-To channel for other videos on enterprise management and business intelligence solutions.